I've got a problem with my solar panels on the front. As you remember, a couple of years ago, I uh, installed those to uh, operate a solar charge station for all my portable devices. And since then, I have discovered something inconvenient about it. It uh, only receives sunlight when I'm facing in a southerly direction. And since uh, most of the uh, places in the Midwest, I've discovered, tend to have RV parking spots that face north, which is rather inconvenient. So I decided it's time to uh, solve that little problem. And here's my little solution. A little 40 watt solar panel to put on the roof. So, up here on the roof I have to uh, center the uh, solar panel in a good spot and uh, then I uh, need to mark where the uh, mounting points are. My little red marker here. That should show up quite well on here. Have to do it on the other side too. And now that that's done, then I can uh, take the uh, solar panel and put it aside and go to the next step. Well, the next step is, of course, to take my clock gun, my self leveling clock, and uh, put a bead on every uh, part of the uh, markings here. So that'll create a nice little seal there to set the solar panels on. Then I can take my solar panel and roughly uh, line up the uh, marks on the uh, self-leveling caulking. Press it down, make sure it's all secure and everything. And I've done all the pre-wiring through the uh, refrigerator vent. And I um, put the connectors on here. Of course, before I screw this down, I really should connect these up. I'll have to tie down the cables later. So now it's time to screw down the uh, panels. I've got some. Uh, number 10 by one inch screws here and that should uh, be the right size for the uh, Z brackets and uh, the roof uh, depth. Got this side done, so I'll just put some more uh, self-leveling caulk over the screws and the uh, mounting plates to give it uh, waterproofing on the top. And the strength of the self-leveling sealant will also prevent the uh, solar panel from catching the wind and blowing off. Well, that's uh, it for the uh, roof. I'll have to go and check this out. But um, that's not going to be easy. You see, uh, Wisconsin is kind of uh, shady. 
and uh, I'm parked kind of under a tree. <laughs> so uh, I probably won't be getting too much sun for the rest of the uh, afternoon, but uh, I will get some in the evening. And uh, there's a dog I want to kill. <laughs> Yeah, I'm back up here in uh, northern Wisconsin and visiting relatives and fixing up uh, my motorhome. You know, little projects that need to be done and such. It's, uh, of course, a, it's very woody around here. A lot of shade. And uh, since we're above the 45 degree latitude, um, actually the environment is rather nice here. Uh, it's not too cold at night, but not too hot. And not too hot during the day, but not too cold. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Wisconsin up here in the north is kind of a uh, nice little place. I kind of wish there was more uh, free city parks in the state, you know, more free places to camp entirely. <laughs> Fortunately, my uh, brother and sister allow me to uh, stay here for free, water, electricity, and, uh, well, in exchange for a little bit of work. It seems my sister has been watching my videos and been uh, getting some inspiration, so she uh, Found herself a moderately good deal on a motor home here. It's uh, actually one year younger than mine. About the same length. Kind of sort of similar design inside. I think she paid a thousand dollars for it, but yeah, it's been uh, used, abused, and badly uh, modified but I'm helping her uh, fix things up you know I'm straightening out the uh, solar wiring and replacing the uh, roof antenna and <laughs> I spent uh, practically uh, a week and a half just cleaning the thing in preparation oh good thing it's not terribly hot up here so uh, this means that I'm kind of limited on uh, videos because well, I'm not going to be making videos of the various chores I do working on this motorhome, but it's uh, kind of disjointed and I don't think my uh, relatives are interested in being in the video. So if there's an interruption in my uh, my video uh, productions, well, well, I think I'm going to just not care because <laughs> I'm up here in northern Wisconsin where it's not too hot, not too cold, and very relaxing when I'm not doing any work, that is.